Hello. Hello, Mr. Mr. Wine. Are you all right? So, what's spinal research tree? A binary research tree is a tree with numbers. And? The one on the left side has to be smaller than the this parent, and the one on the right needs to be bigger. And and they still need to be the same. So, like, if the one on the left, if the one on the bigger is, still have to be smaller than the, the uh. parent of the one. Of its parents. Is this a PST? No, no. Why? Nine is not strictly smaller than nine. Okay. It needs to be okay. How about eight? How about six? No, small is big is not bigger than seven. That's right, because this on this side needs to be bigger than seven. Okay, so let's put eight. Why? Right. This is the yeah. uh, binary search tree. Given the binary search tree, we want to find out the minimum difference. Minimum difference of any two nodes in the binary search tree. What's the smallest distance? The difference? Nine and eight. Nine and eight. Okay, so these two nodes are. There. And seven and eight. Yeah, seven and eight. Okay, so just return one. Okay, return one. The minimum difference. Difference. Okay, of any two nodes, for example, A and B. So we want to get the minimum difference, which is the absolute value A and B, right? This is absolute value. Do you still remember this? Yeah. X yeah. mathematics equals X if X bigger than zero. Zero if X equal equals zero. Uh, minus X if X smaller than zero. Yeah? This is absolute value. This is minus one, the distance to the number zero. This is one, right? For any positive number, the distance to the zero is XL. But for the negative number, the distance to it is negative X. Okay? So this one for a and B belongs to all the nodes in the BST, okay? Any idea how we doing this? Remember, we are given a binary search tree. What can we do about a binary search tree? Why are we given a binary search tree? So Binary search tree is already sorted, but we need just need to perform what kind of order to make it a sorted in list? Order. In order, yes. Well, what's in order? In order is a type of order. Yes, so... An order is an order for... Uh, an yeah, order... Search. An order is an order that makes a binary search tree uh, in order. Okay, so this is now left, left tree, yeah? And then right tree, so the order will be... The left tree, we visit the left tree first, and the node and the right tree, right? Because the, this is 7, right? We want to visit the nodes that are smaller than 7, right? And then we visit the node 7, and we visit the node bigger than 7, larger than 7. Uh, and we recursively doing this in order thing on the left tree and right tree recursively and then that gives us a sorted list make sense mm -hmm. so we can perform the in order then we get the sorted list so what do we do with the sorted list so after this that will be minus nine and minus five, minus five one, one seven, seven eight nine a hundred so okay so we have this uh, sorted list what do we do with it we get we choose the line with first two numbers and just yeah. compare. Can you prove to me? Can you explain to me why we just need to check these two numbers, the neighboring two numbers, or you know not any other numbers? Because because it's it's in order. So if it's like if you compare these two, it's obviously gonna be the difference is gonna be greater than these two. Yes, because they sort it right. That's a very good explanation. The minimum, we are looking for a minimum difference. It has to be the neighbor to uh, numbers in a sorted list. So we can just do this, right? Do this, do this. And then we get a minimum. Okay? So by converting to a list, right? We can use the, you know, we can convert into a list or we can use the generator year, the thing, right? Left search, left search in order, right? Root. If not root, if we have empty nodes, you know, we've reached the end, we'll just return. We visit the left part first, right? So years from, years from, years from deficit search recursion, yeah? deficit search root or left. Let's visit the left tree recursively and then get whatever nodes there, year, year from left. And then now it's time to visit the current node, right? So year, if we want to year the single node, the year root of value. And can you guess what's the next? We visit the left tree, we visit the current node. And what should we do now? Visit the right tree. So yield Root from deficit search. What is next? Right. Root or right. Okay. Numbers. 
equals this is a iterables with the year so we need to convert it to we, we need to convert it to list year deficit search loop so basically this is with you know traveler to using the in order and after that we can just do this for you know answer uh, at the beginning is infinity right infinity for i in range length numbers minus one and answer equals minimum we want to get a minimum answer absolute value numbers i minus numbers i plus one right the neighboring return answer okay so if the root is empty if it, we are given an empty tree then it will return infinity if we want to return zero then we have to check here return answer if answer not equal infinity otherwise zero okay we are looking for the minimum so we can say return mean mean absolute numbers i minus num i plus one for i in range length lums i minus one by default equals zero if the iterable is empty so the function look return mean this iterable yeah iterable default zero so when the it when the it is empty before is zero otherwise we return the minimum of the all the elements in the in the iterable this is using the yield, right? So we still, when we go into the, all the nodes in the tree, we still have to use the additional space, which is O n. The time complexity is O n, n is the number of nodes in the binary search tree. The space complexity is O h. H in the worst case is n, n minus one actually. So it's n, right? So h, the height of the tree. Because what's space complexity for a uh, recursion? It's the coding depths, right? In what cases, h is n minus 1? It's like a line. Yeah, like a line. With a parent with only one kid. Only one kid, yeah. In both cases, the h, height is 2, is actually equals n minus 1, right? But we drop a constant, the space complexity is so h. Right? If we are not using the year, then we can do this. We put the numbers here. Numbers equals this. And then non local numbers. And then we can do this. Numbers dot extend all the thing here all the thing from deficit search to the left and numbers append this value and numbers to extend all the numbers from the right it's uh, not as elegant as this approach using the year do we need to store all the numbers in the array we don't right we just need to you know get these two numbers right we don't need to keep tracking all the numbers in the array how do we find out the distance this is one is the minimum do we need to get all the numbers and put it down on the list we don't right we just need to know the previous previous one remember the previous one okay seven what's the previous six six what's the previous three okay six point five what's the previous six hey what's the previous seven a hundred what's the previous nine okay as long as i know the previous i can get a distance i have this previous and the beginning is now right and the beginning is now that first search Define deficit search root. If not root, return. We need to go to the left tree first. Deficit search root or left. Okay, and then now I have to check if the previous, if there's a previous, right? Obviously at the beginning there's no previous. If the previous, then I can say answer, right? Answer at the beginning, infinity. Answer. Uh, by the way, in order to assess these two values, you have to add the global or long local, okay? Depending on the context. Answer. if answer equals the minimum answer absolute value previous dot value minus do dot value right if there is the previous value i get a distance i can compute the distance and i save the minimum before going to the right right before going to the right which node i should set to the previous okay now i'm here right look i'm at node seven okay and now i'm going to travel this tree to the right tree, which one is the previous value? Seven. Yeah, so I'm here, right? I'm about to travel this right tree. So the left, that. The left. So the, the left node of the right tree. Is it seven? The yeah, it's seven. I'm about to travel the right tree. And then I'm at the root. I'm traveling the right tree, so I need to set the value here, the previous value. This is the previous value of whatever the right tree, right? If it's a single node. So I'm about to travel to nine. What's the previous value of nine? Seven. Yeah, then it makes sense. Okay, I'm about to travel this tree. What's the previous value of this? Seven. Seven, right? Because look, eight, okay? 
So now I just have to say previous equals root. I know I set the root and what do I do? That's a search what? Root dot what's this about? Right. Root or right, as I said, okay, root or right. And after this, that right, that's a search root and I already know the mean uh, answer here. Return answer. Okay? Return answer. So again, yeah, we have to visit all the nodes. The question is that we want to find out the minimum difference of any two nodes in a given binary search tree. Am I right? So what's any two? Right? You have to travel all the nodes to find out the minimum. Am I right? Does it make sense? So that means that the time complexity is on. But for this one, the space complexity, we don't need to store the additional the numbers in the additional array, right? There's no array here, right? There's no year, there's nothing. But for this one, the space complexity, this is still OH because it's using recursion, right? You can't really say then no nothing because there is something there. Before you said then no nothing, there is something there. Okay, so if the node is nothing, we have to define the base cases. If the node, if we're reaching 100, and then what's next? What is left? Nothing. What is right? Nothing. Right? This is the nothing. Right? For each node, the binary tree, for each node, there are two pointers to the left tree and right tree. And if it's the leaf node, this is nothing. This is nothing. Okay? It's nothing. But you said there's no nothing. So that means you said there's, okay. what there's is not it nothing. And besides that, it's it not is. standard English. Okay, so how can I say it perfectly? It, there's no left part of it, the no right part okay, of it, that's okay. it. The left tree and the right tree is empty, it's a leaf node, right? It will be not right, right? Leaf nodes, these are leaf nodes. Okay, what have you learned today? Uh, I learned about finding the, the minimum difference between, between the two in number in the list. In the binary search tree, right? Yeah, and you use a list. Yeah. One question, why are we giving a binary search tree? What advantage of it? Because we basically use in order. And that's O N, right? If we are not given a binary search tree, then we sort it. What's the time complexity? O N log N, right? So look, N numbers in the binary search tree, yeah, we use O N, perform an in order, that give us a sorted list. Right? This is O N. But if this is not a binary search tree, we put it in a list, we need to sort it, there's O N log N, right? That's the Thing. Because this is the binary search tree, that's why performing an ON gives us a sorted list. If it's not a binary search tree, we sort it, that would require ON log N, right? Does it make sense? Okay, so which method is better? This one or that one? That one. Which one? The right one? Yeah, that one. Why? why? That's what I said. You said this one, that one. I said that one. Okay. So Wait, that why? one. Why? Because you don't have to put down in a list. Yeah, because we don't have to put all the numbers on the list. That's a great yeah. advantage of using it, right? Make sense? Yeah. Okay, that's it for today. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.